Marilyn Monroe is one of the greatest and most mysterious Hollywood icons of the 20th century, and now a new book called Fragments, Poems, Intimate Notes, Letters by Marilyn Monroe is a collection of the actress's never-before-seen writings and paints a revealing picture of a woman everyone thought they knew. Monroe is an icon for the ages, with the star that's about to get a little bit brighter. A new book promises to shed light on the turbulent life of the beloved actress. Made up of a collection of notes and letters Monroe left to her acting teacher Lee Strasberg, recently discovered by Lee's wife, Anna. The book highlights notes that Marilyn began writing around 1951, detailing insecurities and fears, along with optimism and dreams. It also touches on her three marriages, most notably those to Yankee great Joe DiMaggio and playwright Arthur Miller. And the world watched as Marilyn developed from Norma Jean into Hollywood's perfect blonde in the 1950s, showcasing her signature bombshell style. That kind of reached a height when she did Niagara. Get out the fire hose. And that's when she began to project the most brilliant, dumb, blonde character of the 20th century. But publishers say her writings reveal a more cultured and curious Marilyn. Her greatest fear? disappointing those she loved. But you wouldn't think that by the looks of her birthday salute to President John F. Kennedy in 1962. There's one element that the archives leave unanswered, her death. So many theories and so many stories have put, been put out about her death that the cause is bathed in mystery. And nearly half a century since that tragic death, Marilyn Monroe still fascinates her fans. Courtney Hodel is the executive editor at Farrar, Strauss and Giroux, the publisher releasing fragments. Courtney, good morning. Good morning. This is such an interesting read, just flipping through it and, and getting to see her, uh, her own thoughts, her own personal feelings written down in handwritten notes she jotted down at hotels and in her uh, journal. Something that's interesting, um, her writings reveal that although she was one of the biggest sex symbols uh, of her time and probably even in present day, she was pretty conflicted about sex. She was, she was indeed. There's, there's a line in her, in her journal where she's writing about, you know, wanting to overcome these early anxieties about her body. It sort of reflects on her childhood with her very strict foster mother. And she's saying, you know, I've got to let these feelings go, but also draw on them for my work. She was married as a child, pretty much, too. 16 years old when she got married. There's a deeply moving part mm -hmm. of her book, and this is referring to uh, one of her three husbands, mm -hmm. Arthur Miller, and the breakdown of that third marriage mm -hmm. um, th and she writes uh, I guess I've always been deeply terrified to really be someone's wife since I know from life one cannot love another ever really that's she right. had some very dark thoughts that's right well as Sam Kashner reports in his Vanity Fair cover story this is what she wrote when she discovered in Miller's journal that he was sometimes embarrassed and disappointed in her and this created this incredible rupture of trust and that's a theme that comes up over and over again in her writings, that she's alone and she can only really rely on herself. And yet some of the writings are silly and fun. Yeah. What, what are some of those she lighter moments? She a delightful, flirtatious sense of humor, and she wrote this comic poem that's in one of the journals about what happens when you wear a hospital gown that's open <laughs> at the back. It's very My bare derriere is out the air, yes. in the air, when I'm not aware. <laughs> not what we think of as Marilyn Monroe, but there it is. What do you, and we talked a little bit about this, but, but certainly in terms of these personal writings, we really see how she felt about herself and not right. what maybe one would think someone would think of themselves when she was who she was. I mean, women revered her, men loved her, mm -hmm. and yet I don't, I didn't get a sense of self from no, her. No, she, you know, she had an uncertainty, but she was also always telling herself, you know, I'm strong, um, I'm, I'm frail, but I'm strong, and there's that dichotomy there that, like, the, the balance between despair and hope that you see over and over again in her life and her writing. Acting coach Lee Strausberg inherited her estate. That's who's releasing this book. Mm -hmm. In uh, a letter, she uh, reveals her emotional insecurity, as you referenced. As you know, for years I have been struggling to find some emotional security with little success for many different reasons. 
This is a very important letter because she was writing to him to suggest that they start a production company together and that Marlon Brando might also be involved. This was very rare for women at the time to take control of their lives from the, from the, of their careers from the Hollywood system. And she wrote this seven months before she died. Wow. So we know that she even then was planning for her future. It's, it's a fascinating uh, look into her life. The book is Fragments, Poems, Intimate Notes, Letters by Marilyn Monroe. Courtney Hodel, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.